Hi everyone. I want to go through a really exciting feature we've added to Multi-GP Racing called Zippy Q. This allows pilots to be able to choose when they fly by selecting what frequency they want to be on and signing themselves up and getting in line for the next rounds to be run. And Zippy Q allows them to do that sign up and monitor what round they're coming up and it will dynamically change as rounds are being run. And it automatically integrates with live time as well. Let's go into system and how it works. So if we go to your chapter, the first thing in order to utilize Zippy Q is we have to utilize our new chapter-based timing event keys. If you've not defined an API key for your chapter, you go to your chapter, timing system key, and if you have not created the key, do so, because that is a prereq for utilizing Zippy Q. So I've previously created a race for this demonstration. It happens to have a few pilots defined. Currently doesn't have any races scheduled because the, it's a Zippy Q type race. And I'll show you the settings that you need for Zippy Q. If you, and this, these settings can be created when you're creating the race, but you can also change them after the fact. What you would do is you go to the settings and under schedule type, you specify Zippy Q rather than controlled. Controlled is defines pilots into rounds. Once a pilot joins, it predefines the rounds ahead of time. Zippy Q, it does not create rounds. The rounds will be defined by the system later on by Zippy Q. The pack count limit is set, and this will limit how many packs that pilot is allowed to sign up for. The Zippy Q displays will show how many packs the pilot has either signed up for or completed uh, the, the combined total uh, for that so the pilots can see their pack counts. Uh, and the limit is set here, so if you want to have a 10 pack limit qualifying, you set that feature there. The other parameter is the number of times a pilot is allowed to be at line, be in line at a, simultaneously. So this prevents one pilot from, from scheduling themselves back to back for 15 rounds and starving out that frequency. You could say, hey, you can't be in line any more than five times, or you could even set that lower to one time saying, uh, you're going to fly, and only when you're done flying that round can you go back and get in line again. Uh, that's a likely feature or parameter that we'll be setting at uh, events like International Open. But for local races, that's usually not a problem, so I have it defaulted to five. So those are the two parameters for Zippy Q. You'll notice if you click the load schedule of a Zippy Q race before it has started, you'll notice there are no rounds because we're going to be using the Zippy Q kiosk to uh, add pilots to the race. So I'm going to say click to open kiosk. Now, what you would do is you go to your tablet, and at your tablet that you'd be putting in a public place, you would go to multigp.com, go to this race, and you'd say, open your ZippyQ kiosk. And actually you do two steps. You'd say open the kiosk and you would exit the administrator mode. ZippyQ has three modes. It has a mode for display only. It has a, a kiosk mode where you can add to the ZippyQ but you can't delete pilots or slots. And then there's the admin mode which allows you to do everything. I'm going to exit out of admin mode and demonstrate the kiosk functionality but so next is, at your tablet, pilots would start signing up for the races they want. They walk up to the tablet, they click the Add Pilot button on the frequency they want. On my system here, my Mac, uh, I have the preferences set to always ask me about camera, so it'll always do this allow, but that's configurable. You get your barcode. Oh, I forgot to talk about barcode. You can take your barcode, scan your barcode, and add you in. I did get ahead of myself and didn't talk about that QR code. Like, how, where do you get the QR code? There's two ways of getting that. One is to go to the iOS app. If you go to iOS, there's a feature there to look at your barcode. The other mechanism to get your barcode is go to your profile in MultiGP, and there's a little symbol there for your QR code that you can print. You could also utilize your number. So if you remember your number, um, I've been around a while, so my number is 96. But uh, So remember your number uh, or print your barcode or maybe do both. 
when you say print barcode, you can do that. And, or you can have the barcode on your phone if you don't want to print it. Uh, most tablets can read, uh, read that from your phone screen. So you need, to, you need your barcode. Let me go back to the kiosk. So, so I, I had added myself to uh, Raceband 2, my current. Uh, it shows that I've been signed up for round one. So I'm going to add a few more pilots here. And we'll, we'll speed up the video to make this go a little bit quicker. And the other way that you can do things is you can also use the keypad. So I could say, you know, add pilot. And rather than use the camera, I could say keypad and enter my ID. And it, it schedules me. You see, I've scheduled myself two times here for this one. Uh, and the keypad mode is pretty powerful for demonstrations because you can just type in any pilot's number and they start coming in. Okay, so pilots have started queuing up. So now that pilots have queued up, you'll go over to live time and get live time set up to, to start racing. So the first thing we have to do is we have to import the event to live time. Import this thing. So I'll go to import from all day GP. I don't want to, I don't want to import rounds. I just want to import the event. So do not import rounds. And the reason being is because we want to get the rounds one at a time because that helps trigger ZippyQ to know what the current round is that's being run. So if we go to schedule, we'll see we have no rounds. So I want to begin rounds. So if we go back and look at ZippyQ, the kiosk, currently there's nothing running and here's the queued up pilots. I've got three rounds queued up. In fact, actually, let me go ahead and get a fourth round going. See, to get another round, I have to enter pilots to cause that round to get added. Okay. Oops. By the way, because I logged in, it entered me in kiosk mode. Thus, you see the red buttons. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'll go to live time, and you'll say for a multi GP, add missing round. And it grabs the next round. So that was the first round. If we go look at the kiosk, you know, that does automatically refresh periodically. So if it's just sitting there, I touch nothing. Round one is now the current round. It's going to have Focus Baymax 2 Dog. Sure enough, that's what's here. And you run this race. I'm going to run this race. Uh, we'll speed that through the video. Okay, I've completed the race. Um, that race, since I've completed the race, that one race, uh, that race does get synced up to MultiGP. If we go up to MultiGP and we can look at the leaderboard and see, you know, that race has been run and their times are there. The other place you can see times, if you click to load schedule, you can see the, the, the best, fastest three consecutive lap time uh, here as well. So now the race director just goes to the next race. So to go to the next race, you go to schedule. Multi-GP, add missing rounds. And now if we go to racing, we'll see a Q2 that has the next round. If we look at Zippy Q, we'll see Zippy Q is also switched up to show the next round. If you're in admin mode, you can also show the previous round as well. Um, this is a mechanism to give back packs. So say, you know, Focus actually didn't run that round. They got confused. Um, you want to give that pack back or, or something else happened. You could hit this red button. So anywhere you see the red, you can press that and that will delete that pilot's time for that round and also credit them their pack back. So if I do that, so if we look at multi-GP now, we could see, you know, I actually had a good time there, but if I delete it, 
one, it gave me my pack back. You could see the in parentheses is the pack count. That pack count includes all previously run rounds and rounds that you were scheduled for. So it, it deleted uh, that. And also if I refresh this, you'll see you know, my time went away you know, as I didn't, did not complete laps. So in live time, we would just run this next race. When the race is over, you go back to schedule, you know, add missing round and, and repeat that process. So that's the cadence of going through a zippy queue as, uh, as you went to run rounds. We've already touched a little bit on admin mode. So some other things that can be done, uh, by the way, this on this display, it also shows the number of pilots that are in the queue. So say this queue gets really, really large and show, and you have 100 pilots where you're not going to see you know, that many listed there. You could just look at the top here and you can say, hey, this one here has, you know, there's two pilots on this channel. So if you want to find a channel that has the fewest pilots, you can just look across and see which one has the fewest pilots and add yourself to that channel instead of one that's busy. And I want to go through a demonstration of deleting a pilot in a future round. Brandt's not able to run that round. So I can say delete, Sorry, sure, and now that is empty. But something about this, if this pilot, if I say add pilot, the ad will go to the next open round, the, the next available slot. A pilot go gets in right now will actually get added to slot three to fill up that empty slot. If you don't have a pilot for that and you want them into uh, the current round, what you would do, you would press the button for empty. You, you click on this empty slot and it will shift the other rounds up one. So Jazz and One Pack will end up shifting up one. Let's click on will shift up. And you see Jazz and One Pack have shifted up one round. Be sure to announce to other pilots, to all your pilots, that you've done that action. Because Jazz previously thought that he was going to be in round four. Now he's going to be in round three. So be sure pilots are have been made aware to look at the schedule because that round has changed. All of the zippy queues show this. People can follow along as the queue progresses upward. So that's the administration mode. Another feature is if you're using zippy queue like on a phone or a vertical oriented system, you can use the toggle vertical button and that just changes this display to be more amenable to the vertical display formats like a, like a phone would have. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about ZippyQ or how it works, be, feel free to ask questions at the MultiGP Chapter Organizers page on Facebook. Uh, or you can also refer to the instructions. Remember, everything can be found at www.multigp.com slash ZippyQ. And you'll see this instruction which tells how to set up and how to use LiveTime. Thanks for watching.